You're watching Dot Space Game and it's time for DCS and Creolus. Today we're in the A10 C2 tank killer, showing how to rain fire with the GAU-8 cannon. Aside from the use of the helmet mounted display, this tutorial fully applies to the original A10C as well. As always, useful control binding will be on screen at the end of the video. Check that your HUD is soy. Master arm set, gun pack armed. Gun ready should light. Altitude source to radar. Lower the seat a bit as this will help keep the gun reticle on the HUD later. Data management up and down to set your target waypoint to speed. Cycle through master modes to guns mode. Don't worry about the CCIP invalid queue yet. Use the helmet mounted display to help you find where your target is. Running in now, we're giving ourselves plenty of space by starting from 7,000 feet and 20 miles. Check armed and gun ready indications and ammo remaining. Just about got visual on the targets. I'm just trying to line myself up neatly along the column of vehicles that I'm going to be going for. There's the gun reticle as we get a ballistic solution. You can change the reticle type with data management left and right, but this one gives the most useful information. Slant range to the target. And we've got two aiming dots since we're using mixed ammo. Top one is for armor piercing, bottom dot for explosive. Gun trigger to first detent to stabilize the aircraft and help with aim. Small bars at the side are to help with moving target estimation. Calibrated laterally at 20 knots. You've got a two mile range against light armor, half a mile range against tanks. Range clock will unwind from two miles. Pull the gun trigger and walk the reticle up and down the target column. Here comes the DACA. You wouldn't want to be on the receiving end. I've been Dan, you've been watching DCS and 3 or less have got space game. Do you call it DACA or BERT? Leave a comment below and visit again for loads more 3 minute DCS tutorials.